tutorials. Um, I'm going to start from the beginning programs I'm going to be using here. I'm going to show you how to try to get a map over. They've done a couple updates and caused me some issues. I was trying to help someone on a live stream yesterday and I was even stumbling, which that's how I roll anyway, to just stumble and find the problem that way. But first off, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to use the mod folder selector program from uh, DodgeNet. Very nice program. <clears throat> you can basically have a few folders set up and just basically switch back and forth. This works really well for testing, especially if you're going to start designing some maps because, <clears throat> excuse me, you're not going to want to have a whole lot of mods in your folder when you're doing this. So, from scratch, basically, my best suggestion is right. Out, I don't know how you're seeing this video, if it's on my Twitch or my YouTube, but if you uh, actually just search or go to Twitch, if I could type. <laughs> twitch.com <clears throat> and just search me click on me and the best thing I say is you click this little arrow right here and you can scroll down here's my YouTube <clears throat> and here's my FS7 and, and unfortunately I have my audio on in the click background I apologize okay so here's here's a few things. I don't have a whole lot yet for FS17, but these are a couple of mods I have thrown together. And I'm not a modder. I'm an editor. I'm gonna say that right up front. Uh, I'm not a modder. I don't I don't start from scratch. Give credit to them guys that uh, spend all the money on the programs and draw things from scratch. But basically, it's the FS17 MFS Plus from DodgeNet. Uh, this is right from his folder. You just click right on that link. It'll take you to the download. Hit direct download. And what I do is I just put it somewhere I know where it's at. Hit save. And it doesn't take long. Oh, one other thing, quick. Another spot you can can go obviously is YouTube. And if you're going to search for me, this can be a little tricky because there's a few people out there with my name. So you've got are close to my name, so make sure you click search instead. And here's my page. Once again, just I'm not a, once again, I'm not a art art guy either. I don't, I'm not a big YouTuber. So it's simple as clicking this little tab. It'll bring up the same farming simulator uh, link. If you, if you come over here, there's my FS15 stuff as well. Quite a few things, quite a few more things, I should say. Things I had more time on it. Anyway, so uh, let's go get this all out of the way. <clears throat> Once it's downloaded here, what I suggest is make yourself a folder somewhere. Um, what I did is I've got a couple extra hard drives, so I just went right into data and I did an FS 2017 folder. What I did is I actually took that folder. I actually made an FS17 mod folder selector. I just took this folder, let's just do a sample for now so that way I don't mess up mine. As I just extracted it to that folder. Once you open it up, you just hit set up, hit run. It's going to it's already installed, so I'm, I'm not going to be able to install it. But it will. It may give you, depending on what your uh, antivirus is set up, it may give you some uh, some pop-ups. Um, you can trust the guy. If you don't trust him, don't install it. But I suggest you do because it's very, very nice to use. Um, his license ran out, so that's one reason that's popping up. So once you get it installed, um, it should put. An icon out on your desktop if it doesn't it's as simple as any other program go find it or come down here to your programs and find it and put it on your desktop is what I suggest now once you have it on your desktop it's as simple as just double clicking on the icon it's gonna come up it should be a bunch of gray gray buttons like this oops close it back out and basically Here's your default if you just want to run out of the default, which if you don't know, is my documents, my games, 
farming simulator 2717. It's under mods. But to start up a new tab, it's as simple as hitting select folder. Then you would go to your computer. I have it under my data. There's the FS17 or 2017, and then you just basically scroll down. You just pick a folder that you want to put your mods in. Your mods will all be in that folder. Hit OK. You can actually name it, so you can hit sample and hit OK. And when you're done, you hit click here to finish. Um, cool thing about it is you also have your log here. So if you're having some problems or you want to just check, say you're doing some stuff, it's as simple as hitting Control F, warning. And you know, this is just simple stuff it's telling you it's not zipped for multiplayer. Um, that's all I had on that log file. And then another good one is error. Make sure you click up top, find next, no errors. So it's a good thing. That's pretty much the rundown. Eventually, hopefully, he gets the what he had on FS15, which is very cool. You double click on that one. It actually has a game save viewer. You click on that, and you can go to your save games. Because that's the one drawback I tell you that if you have this installed, if you're not on the same folder that you're running another game from, for example, say you're in default and you have a game save one. Um, if you run over to the test, that game save one isn't going to show up in the game. I can show you what I'm talking about here. Let's bring this one back up. Let's just go to the test. If I bring that game up, <coughs> excuse me. Career. See how there's no save game one right there? Well, if I back out, then you have to back completely out of the game. It'll give you some issues. So if I go to a Westbridge that I've been doing a lot of testing on, open the game back up. <coughs> I go to career, there's a save game one there, there. So that that's the cool thing about the FS uh, 15 version that has that save game viewer. It will help you show more of their memoir. I'm doing a quick tutorial this morning on a few of them. So the cool thing about the FS 15 version is it'll actually show you them save games. Or you just <laughs> best thing I can say is you need to remember what you have in FS 17 and that's not too hard either. You just go to my documents, go to my games, and here's all your save games. So if you know if you have a one, make sure you don't start a one on another one or it's gonna overwrite it. As simple as that. But like I guess if you're gonna do any kind of testing all oh, this program is, is awesome. Dodgenet is awesome. Check him out. Um I gotta make sure if I haven't yet I'll I'll make sure I have his links on that uh, mod list so you can check out him and then they even have uh a page on uh, Pleasant Valley River, Pleasant Valley Rivers, which I do have on my 2015 links. But uh, be sure to check them out. And that's pretty much a rundown on this program. It's very simple once you figure it out. If you want to reset a button, simple as that. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try to show you guys how to set up a a new map to mod now. But for now, that's it. I'll uh, be back very shortly.